Hi there, I'm Andrew Salter, and today we're getting spooky. Carving pumpkins is a great and long-running Halloween tradition, but where did it come from? What does it mean? Let's find out this time on Now You Know. Carving pumpkins and other gourds has been a tradition of the harvest season for centuries. The National Library of New Zealand notes that the Maori people of New Zealand had carved out gourds to be used as lanterns in caves nearly 700 years ago. Now, while examining the origins of jack-o'-lanterns, it's a good idea to explore the origins of the holiday that we now know as Halloween. The Gaelic holiday of Samhain marked the end of the summer harvest season and beginning of the winter season. Some historians have attributed this to be the Celtic New Year. This was a time when it was thought that the veil between the living and departed worlds was the thinnest, so some customs dictated that hollowed-out gourds were lit in the windows of houses to honor loved ones. People would also wander through the streets of town in costume playing tribute to the spirits of winter in exchange for good fortune. They'd travel from door to door reciting verses or singing songs in exchange for food and drink. Now over time, some tricksters threatened to pull pranks on the houses that did not reward them for their song, the first trick-or-treaters. The lighting method of choice for these trick-or-treaters was a hollowed-out gourd, carved in grotesque faces to represent malicious spirits. Samhain was Christianized in the 7th century and renamed All Hallows Eve, the night before All Saints Day. The name Jack-o'-lantern comes from the old Irish tale of Stingy Jack. <clears throat> Stingy Jack was a bitter old man who invited the devil to drink with him. As Jack did not want to pay for his drink, he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin so that he could pay. The devil did so, but Jack closed him in his wallet next to a silver cross, trapping him. Jack let the devil go in exchange for an agreement that Satan would never claim Jack's soul. Years later, Jack died, but was too wicked to make it into heaven. The devil, to his word, would not accept him into hell and turned him away into the night with only a glowing coal to light his way. Jack put the coal into a carved out turnip and used it as a lantern to light up the night. He became known as Jack of the Lantern. Pumpkins, being native to North America, were first used as jack-o'-lanterns when Irish immigrants to the United States discovered that they were larger and easier to carve than tuna. The tradition of All Hallows' Eve began to grow in popularity until the late 19th century when it really caught on and became a major holiday in the United States, now known as Halloween. So the next time you're carving out your pumpkin for Halloween, stop and take a moment to appreciate that you're taking part in an ancient celebration. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching Now You Know. This week's episode was written by me with the help from Kendall Salter. What would you like us to cover next? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Salternet on YouTube, and share it with your friends. Remember, knowing's only half the battle, the other half is sharing what you know. <laughs>